That shouldn't have bothered me. I mean, I knew Talia and Luke had taken care of Annabeth when she was little. I knew the three of them had always been runaways together, hiding from monsters, surviving on their own before Grover found them and tried to get them to Half-Blood Hill. But whenever Annabeth talked about the time she'd spent with them, I'd kind of felt, I don't know, uncomfortable. No, that's not the word. The word was jealous. So, I said, you don't think Luke will look for us here? She shook her head. We made a dozen safe houses like this. I doubt Luke even remembers where they are. Or cares. She threw herself down on the blankets and started going through her duffel bag. Her body language made it pretty clear she didn't want to talk. Um, Tyson, I said, would you mind scouting around outside? Like, look for a wilderness convenience store or something. Convenience store? Yeah, for snacks. Powdered donuts or something. Just don't go too far. Powdered donuts? Tyson said earnestly. I will look for powdered donuts in the wilderness. He headed outside and started calling, Here, donuts! Once he was gone, I sat down across from Annabeth. Hey, I'm sorry about, you know, seeing Luke. It's not your fault. She unsheathed her knife and started cleaning the blade with a rag. He let us go too easily, I said. I hoped I'd been imagining it, but Annabeth nodded. I was thinking the same thing. What we overheard him say about that gamble and they'll take the bait? I think he was talking about us. The fleece is the bait or Grover? She studied the edge of her knife. I don't know, Percy. Maybe he wants the fleece for himself. Maybe he's hoping we'll do the hard work and then he could steal it from us. I just can't believe he would poison the tree. What did he mean? I asked, that Talia would have been on his side. He's wrong. You don't sound sure. Annabeth glared at me. I started to wish I hadn't asked her about this while she was holding a knife. Percy, you know who you remind me of most? Talia, you guys are so much alike, it's scary. I mean, either you would have been best friends or you would have strangled each other. Let's go with best friends. Talia got angry with her dad sometimes. So do you. Would you turn against Olympus because of that? I stared at the quiver of arrows in the corner. No. Okay, then. Neither would she. Luke's wrong. Annabeth stuck her knife blade into the dirt. I wanted to ask her about the prophecy Luke had mentioned and what it had to do with my 16th birthday. But I figured she wouldn't tell me. Chiron had made it pretty clear that I wasn't allowed to hear it until the gods decided otherwise. So what did you mean, what did Luke mean about the Cyclops? I asked. He said, you of all people? I know what he said. He, he was talking about the real reason Talia died. I waited, not sure what to say. Annabeth drew a shaky breath. You can never trust a Cyclops, Percy. Six years ago, on the night Grover was leading us to Half-Blood Hill, she was interrupted when the door of the hut creaked open. Tyson crawled in. Powdered donuts, he said proudly, holding up a pastry box. Annabeth stared at him. Where did you get that? We're in the middle of the wilderness. There's nothing around for 50 feet, Tyson said. Monster donut shop, just over the hill. This is bad, Annabeth muttered. We were crouching behind a tree, staring at the donut shop in the middle of the woods. It looked brand new, with brightly lit windows, a parking area, and a little road leading off into the forest. But there was nothing else around and no cars parked in the lot. We could see one employee reading a magazine behind the cash register. That was it. On the store's marquee, in huge black letters, 
that even I could read said, Monster Donut. A cartoon ogre was taking a bite of the O of Monster. And the place smelled good, like fresh baked chocolate donuts. This shouldn't be here, Annabeth whispered. It's wrong. What? I asked. It's a donut shop. Shh. Why are we whispering? Tyson went in and bought a dozen. Nothing happened to him. He's a monster. Aw, oh, come on, Annabeth. Monster donut doesn't mean monsters. It's a chain. We've got them in New York. A chain, she agreed. And don't you think it's strange that one appeared immediately after you told Tyson to get donuts? Right here, in the middle of the woods?